All right, now to your health, grass, pollen, tree, weed, mold spores, they're super oh, high still. Talking you. about it makes me want to sneeze. <laughs> Well, a local dentist says all that stuff is bringing people into his office for some reason. Health reporter Haley Hernandez will explain it to you. Good morning. Yeah, that's because people are confusing toothaches with sinus pain. Here's how you can tell the difference and what to do. Here at Beechnut Dental, Mitch Dang says patients come in for an appointment about tooth pain, and the good news is it often doesn't require any dental work. It's fairly common, especially, you know, late fall, early spring, when season's full bloom and grass pollen, you know, Houston, that's what we're used to, can, can mask it as a toothache, but it just asks them from sinus pressure. He says the sinus cavity and your back molars are right next to each other, and inflamed sinuses might push down on your molars and cause pain. In his office, he uses a 3D scanner, so you really get a good image of this when it happens. We have a 3D imaging ready. Would you like to try it? Yeah, let's do it. I bit the bullet to see what the inside of our mouths and sinuses look like. The scan has finished. And as you can see, with this molar right here, where the root goes. Yeah. Right it there. Like it's like going to puncture the sinus. It's separating by a very thin membrane, and you will feel some ickiness associating with this tooth, and maybe with this tooth as well. Interesting. That's the left side. And then as we move to the right side, let's see what's going on. Aha, uh -huh. this is even closer. Look at this premolar right here. Oh, it's pushing it's into it. It's right into the sinus. The way to know it's just sinuses is it usually comes along with a stuffy or runny nose and or a headache. But keep in mind, the opposite can be true, and an infected tooth can cause symptoms that might be mistaken for sinuses. All right, that means that it is important to get to a doctor and diagnose what's causing the pain. If it's the sinus putting the pressure on the tooth or an infected tooth going up into the sinus. So really both can be true. But um, I mean, if you have like what you feel like is a medical problem, then your insurance will still cover it to go to the dentist too. So it's not that you you are limited to twice, two visits a year with okay. the dentist. Okay, that's good to know because um, I've had that happen where I thought I needed a root canal and I was like, doctor, uh, this is it. I got to get a root canal and did a checkup and was like, here's antibiotics. Go home. It's just a sinus infection. I mean, that's why I was smiling when we came out of the yeah. report because we're teasing Sophia about being a hypochondriac <laughs> here. Every time I do these reports, no, Sophia, it's just, it's just it's sinus just, pain. Yeah. So you're lucky once again, <laughs> lucky once again. still Thank alive. You, Sophia Thank you. You'll see another day.